from the homeschool front but today I'm going to share with you some items that we got from our latest Amazon haul for next school year. Um, I, I try not to get too much because I feel like we don't need a lot when we are homeschooling. Mostly just a resupply for us. So um, first up is whoa, this big old multimedia paper, this big old pack of it. This is great. My kids love doing art. We're always creating interesting art pieces. We also got this here. Another large stack of multimedia paper. This is heavyweight. Yeah, we're always creating art in our house. And to be honest, it can get overwhelming. We have so, my kids create so much stuff that I've learned to just give it away, you know? It makes an ex excellent gift for the grandparents and for the aunties and uncles and everyone in your lives, so. Um, if you don't want to keep it, then send it off. But we do have these awesome frames that open up and um, the kids can put their artwork in. And so we do have that for our house, but um, everything else that's a little bit too large, we just send it off. Sometimes my kids will display it in their bedroom, but for the most part, we just share the lovely artwork that they make. So some of the artwork that my son does want to keep in a binder, so I did buy two binders to put the artwork in. Then with those binders, I have a nice pack of these protective sheets, sheet protectors, sheet protectors. Uh, we try not to use a lot of plastic, but I find that this is the best way to keep their art um, safe and together, protects them. My oldest son likes to thumb through all his artwork. So it'd be a nice to be able to keep them all in one place and easy to store because I don't like messes. We got new pencils, Tiger on, Ty, Ticonderoga, Ticonderoga pencils. These ones are colorful. Last year we got black ones. So these, this year I decided to get colorful ones. New Expo markers, always need a bunch of these. Pens, we love the G2 Pilots. These are awesome. I got colorful ones again still have a lot of our black ones. Actually, we have a lot of our blue ones. We're out of the black, so I got more black. And then for books, first one is Guy Stuff. This one's for my oldest son. He is going to be turning 11. And so, I don't know, it's easier than having that talk, give him, throw him the book, and then we can talk about it afterwards <laughs> if he has any questions. If you're interested in seeing what this book is like, let me know down in the comments below and I will walk you through it. Um, next is this awesome book by Joanna Ho, um, Eyes That Speak to the Stars. So we already have Eyes That Kiss in the Corners and we just wanted to get this one too because we do have two boys. I did buy an extra one for my nieces and hopefully we'll send them off to them soon so I don't forget. <laughs> and then last but not least we have The Street Beneath Our Feet. I've been wanting this book for a while. And this is pretty awesome. I'm sure most of you know it, it opens up all the way. Ooh, look at that. It just keeps going and going and going. It's such an awesome book. I've been wanting this for a while and I finally got it. And there's a back side too. Pretty awesome. So if you want to have me walk through this book as well, let me know in the comments below and I'll do that. Be sure to stay for my other videos that are coming up. I have a series of homeschooling 101 and then I also have a bunch of videos about Amazon hauls, which we only have one. A look through a unit study plan that I'm doing. A look at resources that we use. We also have a couple adventures that are going to be posted soon. So thanks for watching again. If you haven't liked or subscribed or done any of those things that you're supposed to do, make sure you do so you can um, hear the latest from me. Sue in at the homeschool front. Until next time.